Fokker Akgelis FA223. Manufacturer Fokker Akgelis Flugzeugpa. Type Utility Helicopter. Power Plant One Bramo 323 Q3 Fafnir Engine. Principal Armament One MG15. Two 551 pound bombs. Carrying capacity, 2,204 pounds cargo. Maximum speed, 75 miles per hour. During the 1930s, a number of countries had taken an interest in helicopters. France had made early inroads, and America had the Sikorsky-designed R4. But by the eve of the Second World War, Germany had stolen the lead with a pioneering airframe that would become a vision of things to come. It was almost scary the way the 223 led the way for future designs, i.e. The, the Chinook and the uh, H-21 and some of the other helicopter designs. Uh, the Germans were doing that in the late 30s and, and early 40s, 20 years before we even thought of it. The first helicopter to achieve full production status, the FA-223 first flew in 1940. Nicknamed the Dragon, it was undeniably a beast. Measuring 40 feet in length and 80 feet from rotor to rotor, it could fly in the harshest environments. It had a very good lifting payload. Uh, it was operated at uh, very high altitudes. One showed to Hitler, he even made the comment, that I think we can use this in mountain warfare. The Fuhrer issued an order for more FA-223s. In the meantime, the few existing models continued to break new ground, including undertaking one of the first medevac missions. There was an example where a uh, German uh, pilot was shot down and was behind enemy lines. FA-223 and crew proceeded to go in and rescue him, so it was a capable aircraft when it came to uh, search and rescue also. Their utility seemed infinite. In September 1943, an elite commando unit led by Otto Scorzani set out to free Benito Mussolini from prison. In what would have been the first ever special operations rapid insertion, the FA-223 was chosen to fly them in and out. Now, it's not really a great success. Unfortunately, on the day they try to use the FA-223 to do this rescue of Mussolini, the aircraft don't work. But that doesn't matter. The thinking is there. The idea to use a helicopter for this kind of mission is there. Despite their potential, most of Hitler's dragons were slayed before they ever took flight. Allied bombing of German industry meant that only a handful of 223s were ever completed. And most of these fell into enemy hands. But even after its capture, it continued to break records. The uh, FA-223 was another design that the Americans and the British wanted to evacuate back for research and development. But the ship that they had uh, assigned to carry these examples back was full, so they, they simply flew the aircraft with one of the original pilots under guard uh, over to England, and it was the first helicopter to cross the English Channel. The 223 may have ended up on the losing side, but in many ways it was a winner. Innovation and versatility scores are impressive, but with an average service length of just two years, coupled with low survivability and fear factor, this dragon is holding fire at number nine.